Hi, I'm Donald, I'm the author, and I'm also the photographer. For me, this is the best part of making a book, the creative part where we get to take the recipes from the writing stage into the photography stage. It's where we get to kind of change them from something that's on paper and something that you can really visualise and get to work in a team and obviously cook through all the wonderful recipes. And in this case, it's all lots of brilliant, healthy recipes. So it's about trying to give that wonderful sense of very vibrant and fresh feeling food. And I hope that we've achieved that. Hi, I'm Lizzie and I'm the food stylist for Donald's fabulous new book. So as the food stylist, what I do is I do all the shopping, um, I get to take all Donald's recipes and I look through them, check they're all in good working order and I do big food orders, I order lovely fruit and veg from different places around London, I trawl the supermarkets for the best looking stuff and I get all the food for all the recipes and then when I'm on the shoot, uh, me and my assistant Poppy, we cook everything up uh, to order, we do this probably about eight to ten shots a day depending on how complicated the recipes are and we cook everything up and then and uh, with the help of the prop stylist, uh, choosing which plates and the setup that we're going to use, I then plate the food and make it look absolutely beautiful for all the pictures for the book. Hey, hello, I'm Polly and I'm the prop stylist on Daniel's photo shoot. For the book, basically, I have managed to source all of the plates, the bowls, frying pans, little tiny beautiful things. Donal was quite specific and he wanted lovely textures and different um, surfaces to use as backgrounds. So we've got lots of metal, we've got marble, we've got different tones of wood and then with um, the actual props themselves, the plates, uh, really beautiful, um, lots of different plates and textures with detailing around the edges, pops of colour and then we've brought in um, some beautiful napkins as well and then some zingy uh, cutlery and just really interesting pieces that just complement the food as much as possible. The hardest part of my job, well this particular job, has been having a 12 week puppy on the shoot. It's been a bit full on, um, but she's been very entertaining and very cute. See, this is exactly what I'm talking about here. Completely distracting and utterly adorable. <laughs> Oh, I love so much about the job. It's such a fulfilling role trying to find um, really gorgeous props to work with. Um, but the team is fantastic and just being around food is a great thing to do. As a photographer, the most exciting thing about this book was the amount of colour. There's lots of vegetables and when you go to shoot a dish that has lots of colour and texture, it becomes really visually interesting. One of my most favourite dishes to photograph during this process has been the cauliflower rice nasi goreng. It is a bit of a healthy twist on a classic Indonesian fried rice dish. Donald's recipes are really fantastic. They're vibrant, they're fresh, they're full of flavour and colour. The really exciting part is when you get to grips with somebody else's recipes. You try things that you've never thought that you'd like, you try things you've never cooked before. It can be really exciting and quite challenging but always really rewarding. My top food styling tips at home is first use the freshest, most beautiful ingredients as you can get hold of because it's really going to make a difference on the plate. Second, think about composition. When you're looking at a plate, it's got to look balanced but it doesn't want to look overly styled and it doesn't want to look too crowded. Odd numbers are really good on a plate, so if you're going to have fish cakes for example, you want to have three fish cakes, not four or two. It tends to look much prettier for some reason. We eat with our eyes and odd numbers are really appealing. Um, the other thing is cook in stages. If you're going to be doing photographing things, you don't necessarily want to toss everything together before you've really thought about how, how things are going to look. So think about the end result and keep things separate and maybe combine them at the last minute. And I think there's a few things as a food size I always have in my kit bag. I'm not a big one for faking it. I love things to look really real. I want the dish that you're going to cook to end up looking like the picture. I think it's really sad when you have a picture and you cook it up and it looks nothing like it. So I'm not into fake stuff, but some stuff's really important. Have a couple of paint brushes on hand. They're really good for glossing, just with olive oil or water. A pair of tweezers is often really invaluable. Um, the medical tweezers are the best ones with a nice long, sharp tip. And they're really great when you've styled a dish and you don't want to disrupt it. If there's something you just want to pick out of the middle or tidy anything up, that's really good. And finally, once your plate's ready to go, you want to set up a little tray to bring into set with you because then you don't have to run back and forward to the kitchen. So have your olive oil, your sprays, your paintbrushes, anything you think you might need to touch up and finish your dish in set, bring it with you so you don't have to keep dashing backwards and forwards. This book has been one of my favourites to shoot. It is really exciting, really fresh and very new and I can't wait to see what you guys think of it.